Hello dear endoscopists and welcome to the 3 minutes endoscopy. In this video series, we will be diving into various endoscopic techniques and procedures, breaking them down into easy to understand steps and segments. I am Mohammed Abdel Hafiz and this is the endoscopist. Today we are starting with the technique endoscopic gastroenterostomy. For a full video, the link will be here or in the description below. Now I will try in just three minutes to explain the technique of endoscopic gastroenterostomy, so get ready to take some notes. Now let's start the timer and get right into it. First step will be to localize the stricture by using upper endoscope. After that we will try to pass the stricture with the RCP catheter and a wire. Step number two will be the exchange of ERCP catheter with nasobiliary catheter. The nasobiliary tube should go as deep as possible in the small bowel during this step. Step number three is to remove the upper endoscope while leaving the nasobiliary catheter deep in the small bowel. This can be controlled with the fluoroscopy. In the fourth step, we exchange the upper endoscope with a linear EOS endoscope. Step number five after giving the scoop on, we try to localize the small bowel loop while filling it with water through the nasobiliary tube. You can see here the right loop will include the catheter inside and we'll see the turbulence of water while injecting it. The next step is the insertion of the hot axis stand. It is the most crucial and dangerous step. It requires a great deal of focus and skill. I usually call it the adrenaline rush phase. Because once you start it, there is no turning back. If you witness any signs of tachycardia during this step, don't worry, it is part of the technique. The application of the hot axial stent starts with inserting the stent through the scope. It's very important to fix it tightly to the scope and to rotate it towards you. After that, we insert a blue cannula in the wire channel of the stent, which we will use later to perform our entrography. Then, we unlock the first lock and we push the stent outside the scope. We use the electrocutery to puncture through the gastric wall and the small bowel wall. To confirm the correct position of the stent, we perform through stent entrography by injecting contrast medium through the blue cannula. A clear and good entrography should be seen. We relock the first lock and unlock the second one by removing the yellow lock. Now we can deploy the distal flange of the stent. A minimum distance of 2 cm inside the small bowel is required before doing this step. After we unlock the first lock, we apply a gentle tension on the distal flange of the stent by pulling the stent back cautiously against the wall. Again, we relock the first lock and unlock the fourth lock and deploy the proximal flange inside the scope. Finally, we release the stent by pushing it outwards while pulling the scope gently backwards. After we release the stent, we confirm its correct position by injecting blue dye through the nasobiliary catheter, which should flow in the stomach. As a second confirmation, we inject contrast medium with upper endoscope through the stent and we have to see a good infrography with the absence of leakage. A barium follow-through after the examination is always good to have to confirm the position of the stent and the absence of complications. And there you have it. Endoscopic gastroenterostomy explained in about 3 minutes. More videos to come in this 3 minutes endoscopy series. So please stay tuned. If you find this video helpful, please consider sharing it with your peers and colleagues. Thanks for watching. Until the next video. Ciao.